I am in a couple weeks. We're getting a new Thorin movie called Thorin Episode 9 The Rise of Skywalker. So, before Thorin Episode 9 The Rise of Skywalker comes out, I'm going to review all the Thorin movies. And I've been doing that. So, today, continue my series of reviewing all the Thorin movies. Before Thorin Episode 9 The Rise of Skywalker comes out, today I'm going to review another one called Thorin Episode 7 The Fourth Awake. Okay? I'm going to give you a little background, and then I'll give my thoughts and opinion, you know, get into the review. So, um, Thorn, episode 7, The Fourth Awake, was directed by J.J. Abrams, starring Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Adam Driver, Daisy Riley, John Boyega, Arden Isaac, Andy Kirkin, and Tony Daniel, Pierre Mayhew. Uh, release date, December 18, 2015, running time 135 minutes. Budget three hundred and six million. Box office two 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 hundred and point zero six eight billion. And this is the first story movie that Walt Disney made after they bought after George Lucas sold the right to Walt Disney. Okay. Um and it takes place after Return of the Jedi. Okay. Um and when it when it came out, the year that it was coming out, it was like my most Peter Pan movie. I was super excited. Okay. Um. And I wouldn't say I was I was let down with the movie. I think I had mixed review, in my own my my own opinion, my own thought. I was, I had mixed review. Okay. Um. Now I'm gonna tell you what I like about the movie. And then I'm gonna tell you what I didn't like about the movie. And then I'm gonna get uh, then I'm gonna tell you what other stuff I heard about the about the movie when we were coming out, all this stuff. Gives them a little extra. Okay? Cause here's the thing. Um, um after Star Wars episode nine, the Roger Star Walker come out, then I'm gonna try to tell you which is my favorite Star Wars movie. And then I'll go on and do a, a video where I, I where I give you my thoughts and opinion. On the original Star Wars trilogy, the prequel, the sequel, and the spin-off. The spin-off being Rogue One and the Thriller. Okay? Um, so, the good and being what I like about the movie. I like the Hurricane Ford back in Hunt Solo. I like the Leia. Um, I like the R2D through a 3-3PO. 3-3PO going. Oh, hi, hello. Probably didn't notice me with my red arm. Uh, that was that were funny. I like I like that. Um now um I like I like the um the little helmet and um um Calorin talking and talking about um, Darth Vader, and then get up and you see the uh, Darth, you see uh, Vader helmet. I like that. Um, Snoke with a good character. I like that. I like Snoke. We don't know who he was. So I like Snoke. Um, so. So, uh, the thing I like about the movie was it took place after uh, it took place after uh, Return of the Jedi. It had a lot of the original characters like Harrison Ford, Leia, uh, R two D two, three three PO, and it had an awesome new character like uh, uh, Snoke. Now, the thing I didn't like about the movie is that you had the the guy named Kylo Ren that was a fish lord. He bad down with the lightsaber during that. In my opinion, I didn't like that. Um, I didn't like uh, the girl had no training whatsoever. 
you're wielding a lightsaber. That's just my opinion. Okay? Um, I didn't like Luke Skywalker. Uh, uh, mention his name. They mentioned Luke Skywalker a lot in the movie, and he only had like five seconds in the movie at the end. And he even they even mentioned his name in the opening crawl in the movie, and they mentioned him throughout the movie in the opening crawl, but he only get like five seconds at the end with cop with with uh, with Ray holding the lightsaber to Luke Skywalker, and that's the only time you see Luke Skywalker in the whole movie at the end. For like five or ten seconds. I'm like, what? Um, 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 so, overall, I had mixed, mixed reviews of this movie. For me, I would like it if. If uh, George Lucas would get this movie, okay, uh, you probably heard that you probably seen or heard the article that George Lucas felt portrayed because they didn't use his his outline or script for Thor seven eight and nine. I'm like, I, and when I read it or, or heard about that, I'm like, if he had outline or script for seven eight and nine, why didn't he make the movie himself? Uh, I didn't totally hate the movie. I totally didn't love it. I had mixed feelings. Like I like the uh, I like the R two D two three three feel bad. I like the I like the I like the Harrison Ford, Leia. I like the Millennium Falcon, Chewie. I'm not really throw with the new character. Some of them are okay. Some of them I didn't really like. But overall. It's okay. It's okay introduction to the um, Star Wars um, universe. So that come to that time to me to give me my grade to it. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it. Uh, let's see what grade will I give it. It's D plus. Okay. Um. Uh, if it wasn't for the if it wasn't for the original character in the movie, I would not like the movie. If it wasn't for if it wasn't for Harrison Ford and Hunt on Low, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for R two D two, three three PO, so on so forth, Chewbacca, I wouldn't like the movie. I'm sorry. But I wanted I wanted to see where the new character was and where they had been been after Return of the Jedi. Okay? That's in my opinion. And, um, and I didn't like a young girl named Ray willing a lifesaver without having no training whatsoever. I'm sorry. And I didn't like all that batting out of, uh, uh, of Kylo Ren. I didn't like that. Okay? Now, uh, uh, I'll give you five seconds. On my take on a hunt solo death. How did I feel about it? It didn't. My, it, I, I didn't mind it. Cause you know it, it, it brought emotion, emotion to the um, to the um, story. Um, I, I I like him dying in this movie. Cause you know, you know I heard I heard that that uh, he wanted. Uh, um, Hilton Ford wanted Han Solo to die in Return of the Jedi. I'm glad that he didn't die in Return of the Jedi. Cause I like how his story ended in Return of the Jedi. And I'm glad he got killed in this movie instead of Return of the Jedi. Okay? So, that's my review. Let me know. For me, it's, it's just a myth. I had mixed, mixed feeling about this movie. That's why I gave it a D plus. Okay? I don't hate it. I don't love it. Okay. Um. So let me know what you what you're feeling on uh, my fourth to wait. Um. Do you think it's overrated, underrated? Um. Do you like it? Don't like it? Let me know that in the comment section below. And always, uh, may the fourth um be with you. Always. Thank you.